Hello and welcome to the other 167. The topic for my message is 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. And this is the part 2 of this message and I'm sharing on the number 2 habit of the highly effective people is being proactive. And we are looking at the life of Nehemiah from the scriptures, the personal effectiveness habit from the life of Nehemiah. And to share this message, I'm using an acronym. The acronym is RISE, R-I-S-E. There are four distinct qualities of a proactive person. Number one is responsibility. The word responsibility has two parts. It has got a response and an ability. It's nothing but our ability to choose our response. Here, from the scriptures, when you look at Nehemiah chapter 1, words 2 and 3, which is when Hanani, one of my brothers, came with other men, came down from Judah, I inquired about the Jewish remnant that survived the exile and about Jerusalem. And they said they are in great trouble and disgrace. The city of Jerusalem is broken down and its walls are burned in fire. And here we see the response of Nehemiah. The response of Nehemiah is Nehemiah took 100% responsibility for rebuilding and restoring the broken walls of Jerusalem. And Nehemiah did not blame others criticize or condemn others or the situation or the circumstances and most importantly he did not give an excuse why the city of Jerusalem can be restored he took 100% responsibility and the second point is the I I stands for initiative here Nehemiah takes initiative. He did not just sit back and wait for the situation to change. As soon as he came to know about the condition of his people, that they are in great trouble and disgrace, he immediately took the initiative, took the action of changing the situation initiating action instead of responding to the actions of others and controlling the situation instead of the situation controlling him. So that is the point of a proactive person taking initiative. And the third point is yes stands for to seek. A proactive person always seeks information, always seeks for guidance, always seeks for help of getting things done. And we see Nehemiah here, as soon as he got to know the condition of the city of Jerusalem and his people, first thing that he did, he was seeking the face of God. He prayed and fasted before the God is maker and again we look at when you look at chapter 2 verses from 4 onwards 4 to 11 we see here Nehemiah is going to the king a Persian king where he was a cupbearer for the king here Nehemiah is going to the king and seeking the permission of the king so that he can go to Jerusalem to build the broken walls of Jerusalem. And again, you look at how Nehemiah is seeking the king to give letters as he is traveling to the different provinces, to asking the king to give him letters to the governors and the people in authority so that he can have a smooth passage to the city of Jerusalem and our Lord Jesus Christ says in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find and knock and 
the door will be opened. A proactive person always will ask, always will seek, always will knock for the things that is needed. And the final point, E stands for engage. A proactive person is always engaged. And we see here Nehemiah was completely engaged on the task of rebuilding the broken walls of Jerusalem. He was not a spectator watching others to do the work. He was completely engaged, praying, taking action, moving forward. To the entire process we see Nehemiah was completely engaged. So dear friends, the Lord has given each one of us a purpose in our life and he wants each one of us to be completely engaged in the task that God has given each one of us in our life. And as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, each one of us, the Lord has given the great commission. He wants each one of us to be engaged irrespective of our age, irrespective of our educational qualification, irrespective of our family background, irrespective of which nation we are from, each one of us, if we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are called to be engaged. Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20 says, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, and commanding them to follow everything that I have told you and lo I am with you toward the end of the age so the great commission each one of us has to be engaged in the great commission so as a proactive person you have to take 100% responsibility as a proactive person we take initiative not waiting for things to change but we take action that makes makes to change things with the help of God and the third point we seek we are people who seek we are people who ask and we are people who knock to get things done and the final we are called to be absolutely engaged we and I are not called to be a spectator in the game of life but we are called to be engaged go and reach out to the unreached May God bless and use each one of us to be a proactive person.